What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully each and every one of you guys is having a great and amazing day. I want to ask you all to do me a big favor. A favor that literally takes five seconds of your time. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button while you're at it. In today's video, I'm on my way to finally put on my Project 6GR wheels. For those of you that have seen the video of me revealing them, it's been about six months since I've had them and I just haven't been able to install them. Obviously, I didn't have the car for seven months. I'm just ready to see how they look on the car. I hope I like them. I'm sure they'll look great. Um, but most importantly, I hope those Toyo Archer Blade R's hook, especially when we go E85. With that being said, I'm on my way to my buddy's shop. That's where my wheels are right now. So as soon as we get there, I'll pick up the camera and uh, we'll get right to work. I do have to say that the uh, VMP heat exchanger is doing work. Cruising temps, my IAT, IAT2s are right at 106 right now and it's already 80 degrees outside. So. Um, it's helping tremendously, it looks like it's definitely going to help um, as much as I expected it to, probably not, but it's at least helping, keeping those temps down, uh, preventing as much heat soak. I'm sure I'm still going to have heat soak issues, and if that's the case, we might just have to switch to a killer chiller system or possibly even an ice box to prevent those issues moving forward. So we just pulled out the wheels. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Obviously we went with our triple eights all the way around, 325s in the back, 285s up front. Is it gonna hook? We're gonna find out. I know some of you are gonna be wondering for what lug nut I used. I got those from Pihalile Racing. Um, torque to 100 pounds, they seem pretty good. All right guys, we got everything mounted up on the car. Everything's torqued down to spec. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. When it come down to it, I'm a bet on me. Ain't nobody fuck with me mentally. Talking that shit, you dead to me. Cause I ain't got time for my enemies. Told her come through, get ahead to me. Telling that truth, it'll set you free. I ain't like them, cause I'm all I need When it come down to it, I'm a bad hey, me. Let me tell you right now, I'm the realest Ain't nobody else ever do it like I did it I ain't really had a competition in a minute And a lot right, of guys, other rappers so out no here Fly spirit, I'ma stick consistent Feeling like and, a man uh, on a mission Honestly, it rides a lot better um, It's not as bumpy um, Another good thing is We just got the revision in um, so hopefully that fixes our fueling issue where we're not getting too much fuel. Um, if not, I'm pretty sure they're still missing stuff from the fuel system. Uh, I went down it with the shop that I had brought it to. VA Performance absolutely screwed me over with everything on this car and left me with an absolute mess to deal with. Um, one thing that I am noticing is a lot of tire noise, of course, but that's not too big of a deal. We'll deal with that. Um, not that I can really hear it with the valves open anyhow. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it right now, but right now I have the valves closed on the Roush axle back. And the car pretty much sounds like a stock GT, so that's a big plus. I don't really have to worry about the police while driving. Um, obviously, I'm not just ripping it with the valves closed not that i'm ripping it at all right now because i'm still on the base tune and the car is not running the best so 
Um, with that being said, these wheels, the entire setup look absolutely amazing. I'm super happy with it. Tomorrow we're going to a car meet called Chillerton, which is out of town, um, kind of on the lake. There should be about four or 500 cars there. Last year was a great turnout. I really enjoyed going. Um, should be a lot of muscle and import there. Some exotics, so I'm definitely looking forward to going and showing you guys what's up over there. Um, I still haven't filmed the cinematic portion of this video yet. I still need to do that. I'll probably get that done tonight. Yeah, I'm all over the place with this car right now. I'm just trying to get everything done. Um, in the last video, I got the O2 sensors installed and I was hoping that was the issue. Then that's why I was running a ridge, but it wasn't. One thing that I just realized is uh, my tire pressure set at 42 on the front left, 34 on the front right, 40 on the rear left, 51 on the rear uh, passenger side. So that may be the cause of the tire noise. As soon as I get home here, I'm gonna have to definitely adjust the tire pressure because we can't be rolling around like that. Of course, that's way too much pressure in these tires. Um, I'll probably be sitting at about 30 in the front, 28 in the back um, for now. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to adjust that and uh, double check, make sure the sensors are reading right. I got obviously a tire reading gauge in the back. So I'll figure that out and then drive it again see where all this tire noise is coming from. It's more of a humming noise, so I'm wondering if it's a rubbing issue. Project 6GR claims that this wheel setup, and wheel and tire setup will fit on my car perfectly without any fitment issues whatsoever. I was debating lowering the car just a little. I'm still on the fence about it because I don't want to be rubbing, so we'll see. And I definitely want to get the drag pack in the future as well, so best idea to be lowering the car any more than what it already is. It's on factory. It's at factory settings right now. So. Uh, a little lower than a standard GT, but not too much. Uh, personally, I think it sits pretty good. The wheel gap's a little more than what I'd like. So we may lower it just a little. Alright guys, with that being said, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Drop a comment in the comment section below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Until next time, I'm out.